obviously really excited to be back in Edmonton for a couple more years and um, feel like we have some unfinished business to do. So uh, motivated to, you know, personally play as well as I did last year. And, and as a team, hopefully we can learn from our mistakes that happened last year and move forward and, and try and build on something good that happened. Was there ever a question for you about potentially playing or not playing again next season? To be honest, not really. I think, uh, um, you know, after the season that we had as a team and, and on a personal level, I think I was very motivated to, uh, you know, to keep playing and, and feel like I'm in a good spot mentally and physically right now, um, even at my age. So I um, feel like I still have some unfinished business to do and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be back and, and uh, to give it another whirl with, uh, with the Oilers. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Mike, you look like you're ready to get the boat out pretty soon with the kids on the on the lake there. Um, yeah, you guys are holding me up from doing that. I'm sure we sure, <laughs> sure we are. Um, what about the the two year contract? I mean, last year you you took a one year contract. I mean, that must be very satisfying for you at your age to to get a two year contract. Yeah, for sure. I think you know, and I I you know. I really appreciate obviously the or the Oilers organization to uh, to allow me to continue my playing career and you know to chase my ultimate goal and that's to win a Stanley Cup and I really feel like you know Edmonton is a is a good fit for me. I think we've we've built something really really uh really good in the last couple of years since I've been there and you know feel like we're on the right track to uh to do something special. So I think uh obviously getting the two years is uh you know was important to me and and uh you know ken and and kurt overhart my agent they you know hashed it out and made something work that kind of worked for both sides and like i said really thrilled to be back in edmonton for the next couple of years uh your game last year was outstanding you you had lots of votes for the vezina trophy how do you feel you played last year say compared to some years before last year yeah i mean it just seemed like everything you know everything clicked last year the consistency was back where i you know felt like it needed to be um you know i i think years prior i don't think it was necessarily they were terrible years it just last year was you know an above average year for i think anybody in the league so i think you know that that'll be the bar that i've set and i feel like i can still play at that level and you know being one more one, one more year older won't you know deter me from you know, being motivated to to be a, a really good player in the league and help this team uh, have success. Daniel Andrew Bowman, the athletic. Hey, Mike, uh, you, you had obviously, as uh, Jim just said, you had one of your best seasons of your career at, at age 39. So I'm just wondering what what's next for you. How can you uh, yeah, have an even better year in in uh, in 21 22? Uh, yeah, I mean. I, I, like I said, I'm very motivated to to keep it going. You know, I, I don't want to just stop at one good year. You know, late in my career, I want to, you know, be a big part of uh, of this team's success moving forward in the next couple of years, and you know, feel like I can still you know play a huge role in in helping the Oilers, you know, do well and win games, and you know, big be a big part of of why the team is going to win. And uh, you know, I know I know from talking to Ken that he's got some some things to do and, and positions to fill, but I think we're doing, you know, they're doing everything they can to make this team better and make it a competitive team and, and to improve on, you know, what we had, what we did last year. And um, that's the kind of organization you want to be a part of. You want to be a part of a team that, that wants to win, wants to win every game. And um, that's where my, my mindset is right now. I'm, I'm focused this summer to, to come in and be, be ready from the get go and, you know, play a lot of important games for the club this year. Like you were, you were pretty open uh, about last year being pretty challenging in the sense that you weren't, you know, your family wasn't around and, and you missed them, obviously. And uh, I'm wondering if you have, as a, as a family, if you have plans to kind of be together this year. I know there's probably some uncertainties and if you can be together, how that might help your, your overall, you know, mental status and, and whatnot for, for the coming year. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously being away from your family for that long is, is not ideal. Um, I think probably I'm not the only one that had to do it and I'm sure there's other professions that have to do it also so 
Um, there was obviously no poor me, but it was, uh, you know, it was a difficult situation, you know, for my wife and the kids and, and so be it. But um, they were in a good place here in Kelowna. They were in a school that was, you know, open all year round. Um, they were playing hockey. So it was fairly normal, you know, normal life here in Kelowna. So it made it a little bit easier in the aspect of I knew kind of they were all good and I was just kind of looking after what I needed to look after. Um, but saying that, you know, I, the day I got home from uh, after we got eliminated this year, I told, you know, we kind of had a family meeting and I told the kids and that, uh, you know, dad wouldn't be away for that long a period of time ever again. So I think I'll, we'll definitely be back in Edmonton as a family this year. And uh, the kids will be excited about, you know, being able to see some games hopefully and be around the guys again and, uh, and uh, hopefully, you know, join in the excitement of, uh, you know, of a team that, you know, should have a really good year. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mark. Uh, I remember talking to, uh, I think it was Ray Whitney, I'm trying to think, and he talked about how as he got old and older in his career, he figured out the different things you had to do to be a successful older player. Like, it's not the same, right? You don't train the same. You don't do the same things as when you're 27. Uh, is there some of that for you? Have you figured out how to be a successful, you know, high 30s goalie? And how much different is that than what you used to be when you were, you know, 28, 29? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think you ever really figure it out. But it's like, it's kind of like golf, I guess. As soon as you think you got it, then uh, the golf gods bang you down pretty quick. So I think it's uh, it's something that it's always a work in progress for me. I think it's it's uh, obviously the experience that I've had throughout the course of my career has, you know, played dividends and being able to play at a high level, you know, at my age still. But I feel like, you know, every year is different. Every game's different. Um, obviously, I've, you know, the training aspect has changed. Um, the mental capacity has, has improved. And, um, but I'm still as motivated as I was the 26 year old to win hockey games and to be a part of a winning team and an organization. And, and, you know, I, I, I think the big thing is, is you don't take anything for granted at, at this point in my career. I just remember being, you know, first year in the league and how fast it's gone by and, the limited chances you have to, you know, to win the Stanley cup. And that's the ultimate goal. So whatever I need to do, you know, to help this team do that, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm all in and that's the last kind of thing I need to check off on my, uh, on my playing career. So whatever I can do to be the best player I can, I'm going to do it. So guys in your position, you're, you're not just a goalie, you're a leader on this team. And, and certainly us, the media see a, an attitude and a, and a sort of a mental approach that this team can use, you know, um, tell me about the walk in the line between you can't just be a leader. You got to be a good goalie, right? You can't just talk. You got to play. Uh, is there a line there? Can you, you know, if, let's say they bring another goalie and you're playing 40 games. Can you still bring everything else that you bring as a, as you did as a starter last year? Yeah. I mean, I've, I think I've been through a lot of different situations in my career that, have allowed me to, uh, you know, to be a leader off the ice and, you know, to be a good goalie on the ice. And, and then that's, that, that's not going to change this year because it's one year, I'm one year older. So I think you gain experiences throughout the course of your career that, you know, are either, you know, negative at the time, but help you in the long run or, you know, good situations that have gone on or players that you've played with that have, have gave you good advice to help you throughout your career. And, um, you know, obviously I appreciate every, every veteran player I've ever played with that have given me advice and helped me out and, you know, got me to this point. And you don't, you don't do it by yourself. You have a team that, that helps you, you know, grow as a player and, and as a person. And like I said, I feel like I'm at a good spot in my, in my life with my family and as a goalie in this league, and I'm going to do everything I can to continue that. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Uh, congratulations, Mike. Thank you. Um, when you talked earlier about just the team learning from your mistakes last year in the playoffs, we hear that often as a learning thing. How, 
as one of the leaders of the team, what will you be looking for to, to see that the team has learned from those as the season progresses? Yeah, I'm, uh, obviously with, with defeat, you know, comes, you know, a growth and maturity and, and a realization that, you know, these opportunities don't come around every, every year. So I think obviously we're trying to build something here in Edmonton and, and I think the whole organization understands where we're kind of at and, and the growth that we've had in the last few years. So I think there's an excitement around the team and, and I'm, I'm super thrilled to be a part of that, but um, you know, you don't, you don't just go out there and, and win. There's a, there's a way that we went about it this year that I think everyone felt we, we improved on. Um, obviously it didn't carry over into the playoffs, but um I think there's a lot of valuable lessons learned, you know, in that series against Winnipeg. So hopefully that, you know, majority of the team understands where we're at, understands, um, you know, the mistakes that we made in the playoffs that kind of cost us the series that, you know, we have to clean up. And I'm sure everyone will come back motivated this year to, uh, to improve on that. You know, there's a lot of goalies who are going to be going to the free agent market on Wednesday. You could have been one of them. Was part of this to just avoid that, to just get something done quickly so you're not part of that? Or was this pretty much just team and comfort driven for you? Yeah, I mean, I think at this point in my career, you don't want to be moving around all over the place to uh, to uncharted waters. So I think, you know, you know, my my goal was to come back to Edmonton and and hopefully finish my my career in Edmonton I, I really enjoyed playing there I really enjoyed living there and and I really want to do everything I can to help this team win a Stanley Cup in Edmonton and I think there'd be no better way to kind of go out than to you know bring a Stanley Cup back to the city of Edmonton and kind of finish you know finish off my career and in, uh, in that sense so I think um, I never really explored any other options I, I've always wanted to be back in Edmonton and, and feel like it's a you know a comfortable spot for my family to be and and uh, close to where we live now so um, and obviously you know the hockey side of it is uh, we're at an exciting you know place in 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 Oilers in Oilers hockey and the, this organization is going in the right direction and feel like we're we're very close to being you know an elite franchise and and uh, have the right players to uh, to make that happen. So um, I really enjoyed my, my time at Edmonton so far, and I, I just want that to continue, obviously, and doing going to do everything I can to, uh, to help this team win.